Don Chamberlain here, Great Wave Engineering. Uh, I just installed this pond control system on my quarantine tank. Uh, it's in this enclosure here. For some time I've had a PLC control system on my main pond and I've always had the idea of trying to make that into a product but the PLC solution is a little expensive especially uh, the sensors uh, for whatever reason I spent hundreds of dollars on different sensors and transmitters and I.O. boards still haven't able to get it to work satisfactorily so finally I decided to uh, adopt a Neptune uh, aquarium system see if I could harden it uh, and modify it a bit uh, for use uh, in the outdoors on a pond and so that's uh, that's uh, what I've got I've got going now on my quarantine system we're just looking at the uh, control panel for the pond control system on my pond uh, the PLC system uh, here you can actually see the system in the uh, in the in the pump house uh, and you can see it's pretty involved. A uh, number of enclosures. We've got a uh, UPS here to keep the thing running. Uh, here we've got some transmitters for pH and, uh, and ORP and temperature. And although I've been able to get the pH to work just fine, I never was able to get pH and ORP to work together, uh, which is somewhat disappointing and a bit expensive. So anyway, I'm hoping the uh, new system will be considerably cheaper and uh, perhaps have uh, as good as or better uh, performance and uh, capabilities um, and be a lot easier to maintain. Now this is the uh, inside of the enclosure on the new uh, bond control system. Uh, you can see it's considerably more compact. Uh, the Neptune system comes with eight outputs. Two of them can handle up to 10 amps. Uh, the other six can handle up to five amps. Uh, and certainly in a pond situation, you may have something that pulls more current than that. Uh, so in my case, I've got a heater on the quarantine system. So I've got a 30 amp, uh, 30 amp relay here that can deal with that. Uh, so uh, I think it's going to work out very nicely. And I'd be real interested to hear people's opinion on how uh, desirable such a product might be for their ponds. Um, certainly there's many, many people with aquariums that are using these systems, quite elaborate uh, systems to control all the various uh, uh, pumps and air pumps and so on, and as well as uh, monitoring uh, pH and ORP and dissolved oxygen and and salt uh, in the case of a marine tank. Uh, so all those things can certainly be done with this. <clears throat> so the Apex system doesn't have a snazzy uh, color touch screen, but in some sense it's even better. Uh, I'm able to access the system over my home network and here you can see what it looks like on the uh, on my PC screen. I can actually pull up the same thing on my uh, smartphone and that's actually how I control things. Uh, Turn the pumps on or off as needed. Uh, any of the other, uh, any of the other devices. So it's really pretty handy, uh, and uh, can be accessible over the internet, uh, even from remote locations. So anyway, I'm hoping some people will see this and give me, uh, give me their feedback on whether they feel like uh, this might be something of interest. I realize not every pond is going to be interested in this. But certainly if you have a large installation and you're concerned about keeping tabs on everything all the time or you'd like to automate some things, this might be the way to go.